Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Tactical Trash Panda and I am about to do my very first video, so please bear with me. Uh, in no way do I claim to be a video editor or anything like that. This is my first time. I just want to help you guys out because I get this question. I've gotten this question a few times. So, as you guys know, I love Palmer 80 lower parts kits. And depending on which website you get it from, some will actually come already pre-installed with the trigger shoe onto the trigger bar. Or in this case, the trigger bar and the trigger shoes come uninstalled just separate from one another because this kit actually comes with two trigger housings. Oh, trigger shoes, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you have your traditional curved trigger shoe. And you have a flat face trigger shoe, which in my opinion, this is actually my favorite one. It feels so much better. Once you try this out, usually you don't want to go back to these. So the trigger safety is separate, of course. You get two pins in the kit. And let's get started. Uh, what you want to do is grab yourself a pair of needle nose pliers. Have a hard surface because you are gonna need to start these off with hammering them in to get them started. And this will be the first, first hole on the bottom. That little tiny one right there. So grab your pen like that from the middle because it could be a little wobbly at first. Just give it a few light taps. You see how it got started? Boom. We actually went a little too deep because now it's actually sticking out inside. But it might still fit. Let's try it out. Okay, which is actually, there's the depth that you really want to go to. Now, you don't want to, you can't mess this up. Because, as you see, it only goes into one direction. This is a little spring. You put it from the rear. And it goes in right there. Boom. So what we're going to do is put it in the C-clamp. And sorry guys, I'm trying to focus on the video and this at the same time. Let's do it on there because... As you can see, I put some blue painter's tape so I don't mar up my finish on my trigger. Lining this up on video is a lot harder than it looks. There we go. Shout out to the homie P80 Ralph. I don't know how you do it, brother. <laughs> this is like the third time I'm trying this on video. Alright, so now that everything is lined up, all we're going to just do is press it in place. First part is done. And then, you know, you can go back with a punch or something and just even out the surface. So now, second part. Again, what we're going to do, get your needle nose pliers, start off right here. And what we're going to be doing, or at least what I'm doing, I, I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but, uh, I'm going from, if you're looking at it from this way, I'm starting off from the left side going to the right. So where the logo is, I'm going to put that down. Start off on the other side. So let's give this a few love taps. All right, right 
You can see there's two slots on top. Um, first slot, you're going to leave that alone. You see this long slot is where the trigger bar is going to be going into. So I want to get this started to the point where it's already in some before I put in the trigger bar because on camera, that is a lot harder. If this was off camera, it'd probably take me five minutes less than that. And take your time. So that's about halfway in now. Again, we're going to put... Make sure you do it in the right direction. Now. <laughs> and now you just got to put this trigger bar in there. Line it up. And there you go. We are finished. Boom. Everything should be free. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this helped you. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, I appreciate your support. Drop a comment. Let me know next time what, what I can do to improve the videos. What you didn't like about the videos. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.